Hey everybody, welcome to Saving Green's Homestead. My name is Keisha, and if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I welcome you. You guys, I have you looking at this basil plant that I grew in my front yard flower bed. And uh, I had pulled some sprigs off of this that flowered like you can see here. Um, and I dehydrated it to use it for tea. And I will show you that um, when I go inside. If you've never had basil tea before, I suggest that you try it. It's really, really good and flavorful. Uh, you can use it fresh like this off of the bush when you have basil plants uh, ready and available to you. Or you can dehydrate it like how I did in the house to use over the winter um, after these plants die back. So if you hadn't already watched my basil tea video for Tea Tuesday, then I suggest you go and watch it to learn all the benefits of drinking basil tea. So, you guys, I brought you out here because my husband and I are gonna be doing some work on these sprinklers um, since we're going on vacation so that my son won't have to worry too much about water in my garden. And I am gonna be planting some seeds out here because I have a garden tour that's gonna be coming up in October and I wanna make sure people have something to look at. <laughs> so I'm gonna go on ahead and get started working on this stuff and so that we can get it done. So I'm gonna make me a little bit of basil tea. I already dried out, dehydrated some basil. You can use fresh basil also. But I already got my little basket here, my little tea basket. And I put also some uh, stevia that I grew and dehydrated in the basket as well. So now I'm just gonna put this in here. I already know how this is gonna taste because I've had basil tea before. It's very good. So I'm just gonna let this steep and then I'm gonna enjoy me a cup of basil tea. We're out here trying to get these um, sprinklers to work right. Well, there's water coming up, so it's with the head, the sprinkler head. Something's not connecting through. Because we're going to be leaving for a vacation. Look at these. Look how pretty these are. We're gonna be leaving for vacation and I don't wanna have my son, I don't want him to have to worry about watering everything. <laughs> He's gonna have to water some things, but I don't want him to have to worry about watering everything. So we're trying to, we put these sprinklers in a long time ago. We just been waiting to use them once we put the sod in. But while I'm over here showing you guys some stuff, look at this. I got a watermelon. I'm glad I'm getting it on video right now because when we come back after a week, these are going to be huge. Yeah, but that one's still not on at the very end. <laughs> Sorry, babe, but it's not on on the end. It's not, it didn't come on on the end. Yeah, Look at that. I, I had to fix that one that wasn't going before. That is so cool. I don't know if these watermelon are going to be ready before our frost hit, but I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. I don't think there's any on any of these yet. But it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. So, yeah. we're just out here trying to get everything final 
because we're not going to be here. I'm not going to be able to do all of this of what I normally do. Those zinnias are so pretty. This watermelon vine is taking off. These uh, melons that I planted over here are starting to grow because our weather's been good. I'm hoping that I will at least get something before the frost comes. Oh, well that's not supposed to work like that. <laughs> you were just trying to see if it, the water was reaching it? Oh, okay. I guess when we come back, I'll just bury these back down again. We have to replace that one over there. He got broke off altogether because I guess we ran over it with the truck one day. That one definitely needs to be buried. I gotta step back because he's about to test it again. All right, come on. This needs to be turned, bro. Ooh, I'm getting wet from that one. Get the this flower bed here. Oh, look at the rainbow. <laughs> what? Char? fine. All that stuff will get watered. It'll find it. Okay, now, my other suggestion before you got caught up and all that was these guys. Okay, so those sprinklers, those sprinklers, that one over there by that stool and the one that's over here is going to cover this guy here which is fine. So I was thinking for now, since we don't have grass right here, turn those facing that flower bed and then that flower bed will get watered. Oh. I don't have those blocked off, babe. That water is just pouring out. That's what the um, zip tie was gonna be for. And then this right here. He just needs to stay down. I don't have the, I could get the tubing for it to put around on there and connect them. Right, it tells you which way it's pointing. Right. But see, by us doing that, then we don't have to worry about the drippers on this side for right now just for this week and then we can turn them back and we can work on getting um, that one I think is supposed to help water that over there I think this one is good because it'll get this I don't have that's not even like it's not at all. no okay well that one's not turned right that third one is not turned all the way. They're just hitting the wood. It's just hitting the wood and that's it. It's not going up and over. Okay, well, 
He'll have to water this. So we'll turn these back around. What are these? What? What are? Wait, wait. Listen to what I'm asking. What are these connected to? What other sprinklers? Is it this row? Or or these two right here? Everything over here. Oh. Okay. It's easier to turn them when they when they're popped up. For me, it is. Oh, you're turning the whole thing, but won't that loosen it under the ground? No, it's a swivel. Oh. All these weeds that are already on this dirt is gonna be that much worse by the time we get back. Because all this water is gonna be. Okay. Yeah, I guess so. I just gotta get the tubing for this one and that one. Okay, so now that's done. I got those in there. So hopefully it will do its job. Hey! So as you can see, it's all puddled up, but we worked it out. We got it all figured out. Uh, and the sprinklers that were messed up, we got them fixed and everything hopefully is gonna <laughs> work while we're gone like i said my son's gonna be here so he's gonna be able to make sure that everything starts and stops when it's supposed to but so far my husband has it programmed to where the sprinklers will come on at six in the morning and then uh, they'll cycle through all the zones so i think that's good i already planted started planting some seeds and i have some a few more that i want to get planted before i lose daylight and have to go inside anyways and pack to leave and so i am gonna leave you guys with, uh, with these sunflowers these are the last sunflowers that I have growing in my garden right now. And they are still so very pretty. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, God bless.